So I was working today on a Saturday and I got home and found this at the door. This is the cooler I've been keeping in the van that slides under the bed. I'm assuming there's packaging in there. I'm hoping that that thing's about the same size as this thing. And we're going to do a quick little unboxing of this right now. So I might have to raise the platform in the van a little bit, which is not the end of the world. I'm okay with that. I figured I might have to. So this is supposed to be a fridge and freezer. Whoa, my, my super pro camera set up here. So it's got handles built into it here. Not much though, just enough for your fingers to grab. It's a 26 quart. It's 12 volt, and I got to plug it in uh, inside the house there, regular 110. And a couple extra feet, it looks like. User manual. All right, that's it. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this will work. You got a USB charger in here, too. Let me get something, hang on. Got my Blue Eddy here. I haven't looked at the instructions at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and see if I can figure it out. not very heavy <clears throat> which I like pretty good reviews this is DC right yeah DC a little plugged in it's on Okay, just kicked on. Trying to figure this out, 32, 33. Okay, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 degrees should be good. And it's at 73 right now. 13.2 volts, it says here. You can hear that. From here, I can't hear it at all, which I like because it's going to go underneath the bed.
All right. <clears throat> I'm going to put this in the van and come back in a few minutes or in an hour or so and see what it feels like. So we're drawing 44, 45 watts here. And, uh, you know, that's just because it's just kicking on. So it's drawing a lot of power. All right. 49 watts, 48 watts. I would, I, I suspect that's normal. We're at 73 degrees. This, I just put this in the van. It's two minutes later. So I'm going to leave this in here. We're going to see what happens. I'll come back down here in about an hour and then uh, deal with that. I'm supposed to go out and meet some people. Apparently it's a bunch of naked hippies <laughs> at some hot spring. Uh, around the 18th, I'm guessing. And I wanted to have this for that. I, I mean, I've lived out of the van before, as you guys know, for up to four months, but I haven't done really any cooking in the van or out of it. I haven't needed to. In the past, as I came up backpacking, camping, all that stuff, I always made a fire and cooked something. So this van life thing is interesting to me. All the comforts of home. <laughs> We're going to give that a shot. And, uh, and on this trip, we'll see how it goes. I also picked up an awning. Uh, I was going to go with the uh, Moonshade, but that's $400, man. So I went with a cheaper version of it. It's like $116. You guys will see it. And I think uh, the concept of it is simple enough to where I think I could duplicate it if there's a problem with it. So we'll see how all that goes. But now I got this out of here. <clears throat> that fridge replaces this. And uh, it makes more sense. I can bring eggs with me. I can bring butter with me. I can bring cheese with me. I'm excited about those things. So that's pretty much what I eat every day for lunch. <laughs> I can cook my stew before I leave and have that in there and have something to eat every night without having to think about it. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. Stick around. We'll see what happens in about an hour. You know, it's only been about four minutes. We're already at 69 degrees. Okay, so I set my timer for 45 minutes. It's at 38 degrees. I'm still at 100% on my Blue Eddy. Yeah, you know, it says 300 watt here. I don't know. I mean, I think this was a 500. Well, it says output 10. Oh, that's This is a phone charger. I don't know. This is supposed to be a pretty good unit. It's always served me fine. I'm sure it didn't take 45 minutes for that to happen. I just set the timer for that. Uh, but nothing is on right now. I mean, it's all on, but the compressor isn't running. This thing's doing fine. I'm going to just leave this plugged in. It just came on again, but I had this lid open. Uh, it feels nice and cool in here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm going to go upstairs and get the tape measure and give you guys some dimensions. And then, uh, yeah. That'll be that, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm pretty stoked with it already. I'm kind of laying around. I'm, I've been kind of, I had this lingering cold all week, just blowing crap out of my nose and coughing it out of my chest. It's very weird. Can't kick it 100%, so I feel a little lethargic. I should be over to the shop and fiddle around with this, but I've got a few days to do on this job. I'm working on that sauna, and hopefully I'll get that done before the end of the week. And then have a day or so to get ready to before I drive to Arizona and I'll tune this up a bit. But uh, pretty happy so far. We'll see how it works with the actual food in it. It does have this thing on the label, which I like. So it's telling you temperatures for you know what you're putting in there, which is pretty good. That's why this thing came on. I had this thing open and I did a video and I erased it. I'm just doing another one now. So I let all the I let all the cold air out. So it came back on. That's pretty quiet, man. And let's see here. But when it comes on, it it's pretty interesting. It does draw quite a bit of wattage there. But I'm guessing that, you know, that's for a short period of time. Until it uh you know gets back up. But it still says 38 degrees here, so I don't know how accurate we're getting there. I guess that's what it's taking in, 13 volts? I don't know, man. I'm not, I don't, this electrical thing, I don't even try to understand it. I plug it in. If it works, I'm happy. So I'll probably add to this in a bit. Hang on. All right, I put some stuff in here just to check it out, but 
The depth on this is uh, 10 and just over three quarters of an inch deep. Uh, 13 and 7 eighths wide. What do we got here? Just under nine and three quarters wide. Or, okay, what am I saying? Yeah, that would be, well, actually, there's two ways to say depth. That's the depth this way. Deep, deep, like I said, is uh, about 10 and three quarters of an inch. So I got some beer in here. I don't even drink beer. This stuff has been in my fridge for months. I just put this stuff in there, see if it'll stay cold overnight. It's on right now. Uh, I came down here after going upstairs and emailing with a guy. He was needed advice to buy an Astro van. He just bought a 2005. 2005 Astro van, all wheel drive for $4,000, 4,100 bucks. <clears throat> Pretty good. So when I came down, this was at 33 degrees, even though I had it set at 38. Um, so I don't know, but uh, we'll see. And even though this said 100%, I was charging some things before this. So we're at 80 now. And I'm gonna leave this overnight and check it in the morning. Yeah, so that's it. That's the end of this video. The Joy Tutus, Joy T-U-T-U-S, 26 quart. Uh, it's nice looking and I will let you guys know in the future how it performs um, That's it. I don't know if I'll do another video tomorrow morning on this because I just want to sign off and uh, Get on with other things. But once again, thanks for being here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be good to one another uh, Bye. All right, so here we are next morning uh, You know, I showed this to you yesterday a hundred percent. It was actually I had used it for a few days on the job on uh, charging my iPod and speaker. So even though it said 100%, it wasn't really 100%, 100%. But uh, it says we're at 60 now. So it probably used a solid 20%, 30% of its uh, battery. Not the end of the world. And we're still at 38 degrees, which is what I set it at. It's not on. Everything in there is cold checked it already and uh, so that's your test now there's a 12 volt at the back corner of the Astro van so while I'm driving <clears throat> I can have this plugged into the van and then just use this once I park somewhere at night and then I have a solar panel that I put up on the roof and I run those wires through those side windows that pop out uh, right up on the roof or anywhere else and uh, I could charge this while I'm at camp. I could also charge this while I'm driving. So I could plug this in while I'm driving and charge it and have this be charging off the starter battery as I'm driving. So there's ways to keep this thing from you know, getting depleted. You know, as you guys know, it's all common sense. But there you go. I guess Joy Tutus, Tutus. A little, little unboxing and a review. And uh, we'll see how it holds up out in the real world.